Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top headlines are Tesla deploys its 20,000th charger. Camera sales plummet 54%. New Xbox available memory levels revealed. iPhone 12 Pro Max supply issues. One plus watch won't use Google Wear OS. Let's get started. Tesla deploys its 20,000th charger. Tesla announced today that the supercharger network has now reached a total of 20,000 stalls around the world. Over the last few years, Tesla has made several grand promises about expanding the supercharger network, but it has been falling short. The delay appeared to be at least partly related to the deployment of the new generation of the supercharger technology, Supercharger V3, which itself saw several delays. Last year, Tesla finally launched the Supercharger V3 and picked up supercharger installations around the world. At the end of last year, Tesla had over 15,000 superchargers installed at 1,716 locations around the world. Now Tesla announced that it has deployed its 20,000th supercharger. This shows that Tesla has greatly accelerated deployment of new stations in the last few months. The rate of deployment is important since Tesla is trying to keep up its infrastructure capacity with the new record vehicle deliveries it is currently achieving. The capacity of the network is also increasing faster with each station thanks to the higher charging output of Supercharger V3, which is reducing the time spent per charging session. Alongside its Supercharger network, which enables fast charging for long-distance travel, Tesla is also growing its destination charger network for charging at lower speeds overnight at hotels and other destinations. Camera sales plummet 54%. The Camera and Imaging Products Association in Japan, otherwise known as SEPA, has published global camera and lens production data through September of this year, and the results show that the industry clearly has taken a hit from the global coronavirus pandemic. Camera manufacturers sold 1.562 million DSLR units through September of 2020, which is down 54%. The value of those cameras was 64.6 billion yen, around $626 million, which is a 51% decrease year over year. Though faring better, mirrorless cameras also suffered a large drop, with 1.807 million units shipped so far, which is down 34%. The value of those units was 145.82 billion yen, or on $1.412 billion, a 26% sales decrease. Compact camera bodies sold in greater volume than DSLRs, but suffered nearly as badly with a 51% drop in units sold to 2.498 million. The value of those sales was 53.578 billion yen, or on $519 million, down 26%. Lenses also saw an across-the-board decrease in units sold and overall value. For lenses wider than 35 millimeters, sales fell 45%. For lenses at or longer than 35 mm, sales dropped 34%. If there is a bit of an upside to this information, it's that sales were much stronger in September than they were in August, and the data shows that overall sales and sales value is trending upwards. DSLR unit sales grew by almost 68,000 units in September compared to August, and mirrorless units grew by almost 140,000 over the same period. It will likely take some time for camera and lens manufacturers to recoup the losses experienced during the first two-thirds of 2020, but with sales trending up they are probably feeling optimistic. New Xbox Available Memory Levels Revealed The new Xbox Series consoles will start shipping to fans starting tomorrow, that is, November 10th. However, one lucky Redditor got their Series S console early and confirmed that there is a significant chunk of storage dedicated to system functions. The Xbox Series S has a 512GB SSD built-in, of which 364GB are available for game installations. Similarly, the Series 10 console has a 1TB SSD, of which 802GB are available. So that's about 30% of memory reserved on the S and 20% on the X. This reserved storage is for the OS as well as the Quick Resume feature, which needs to store gigabytes of game state data, so that you can jump straight back into the game. If you need more room for your games, keep in mind modern AAA titles are massive, you can buy a storage expansion card. Seagate makes the official 1TB card, which works on both the X and S and is as fast as the console's internal SSDs. 
It costs $220, almost as much as the Series S itself. A 2TB card is planned as well. In case it wasn't clear, standard 2.5-inch or M.2 SSDs cannot be used. External drives can be used, but only for previous generation games. Microsoft claims that games on the Series S console will take up 30% less room than on the Series 10, which should make the storage capacity easier to live with. The S targets 1440p, so it doesn't need high-resolution textures like the X, which will run games at 4K. Also, developers can let you uninstall parts of a game, for example the single-player campaign, to free up more memory. Both PlayStation 5 models have 825GB internal SSDs, of which 664GB is available for games, 20% is reserved for the system. There's a standard M.2 slot, which can run next-gen titles, but you'll need a very fast PCIe 4.0 SSD. iPhone 12 Pro Max Supply Issues The iPhone 12 Mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max are officially open for pre-orders, and the first orders will arrive to customers on Friday, November 13th. Since pre-orders began, the supply of select iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max models has started to dwindle, but options are still available for launch day delivery. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is facing more supply constraints than the iPhone 12 mini, with Apple quoting 7 to 10 day shipping times for many models. Some are even backordered as far as 2 to 3 weeks. The only iPhone 12 Pro Max that remains available for launch day delivery is the 512GB Silver variant. The models with the most waiting time are of course the gold and Pacific blue color variants. The 128 and 256 gigabytes models both have a 2-3 to three week shipping time for both of those colors. On the flip side, the majority of iPhone 12 mini variants are still available for launch day delivery, including select storage configurations in every color option. While analysts expect the 6.1-inch model to be the top seller, it would be interesting to see what comes out once some sales analysis comes through. 1. Plus Watch won't use Google Wear OS. 1. Plus has been rumored to be working on a smartwatch for years now, but the project never came to fruition. The evidence is stronger than ever for a One Plus watch hitting the market soon, but surprisingly it won't be using Google's Wear OS platform. Max J, a fairly reliable One Plus tipster, claims that the One Plus watch will not be using Wear OS, a bit of a shock given the company's tight ties with Google and the Android platform. Generally speaking, Wear OS is the de facto platform for smartwatch makers who don't have the resources to craft their own wearable platform from scratch. So, what's the plan for the OnePlus watch? To be honest, no one knows. Obviously, the product will still pair up with the company's Android smartphones, but without Wear OS, we have no indication at all of what kind of operating system OnePlus will be using on its first smartwatch. Oppo and Xiaomi have used forks of Android, and Huawei uses a barebones OS for its popular wearables too. As per Max, Wear OS won't be on this watch at all, not even a modified or skinned version. The OnePlus watch is currently expected to release sometime next year. Well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.